Hi, this is John from Chicago and welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you the Emacs NanoHawk X. Uh, this uh, toothpick quad has been out for uh, three weeks, um, I think the end of uh, August. Uh, once I saw these were out, uh, all the reviewers, the main reviewers get free ones, I do not. And they all review them on the same day, I guess, as part of their uh, commitment to getting the free quads. Once I saw the review, I said this is a winner, so I ordered one from Race Day Quads, got it, uh, I think, three or four days later, and I've been flying it uh, every day since. Uh, I normally get my flights in quicker than, uh, I normally like to fly them 30 to 40 flights to make sure nothing's wrong so I can give you a better review. The problem is this comes with just a single battery that's an XT30 and I looked all over and I can't could not find them. The only spot I really found these that are available uh, are bang good and they're back ordered or they you won't get them for six weeks when they're $13 per battery so I'll probably make my own. They do give you a plug that you could plug another battery into but then you got the resistance uh, from the PH2 connector and the extra connector there um, so it, that's not a good solution. They should have given you at least two batteries and they should have an option where you could order more. Uh, the other things that come with the quad is they give you two extra props. These are uh, their own design props and they give you a six place charger and they give you some extra screws, extra bands, rubber band to hold the battery on, and uh, a couple stickers, I guess. Um, so um, the actual package was $140, the same price everywhere. It's a little expensive, but uh, you're getting a fairly good quality quads. I have no uh, problems. It's quite durable. Um, what I will do is I'm going to do a thrust test. Then I'm going to do a range test to show you the range. And then a um, uh, speed test on the, my uh, playground track. And then a speed test on my outdoor big field track. Uh, oh, uh, what, what this is made up, uh, some of the components on this. This is the for the camera. It's your Nano um, 3 camera, which is a lightweight camera that's fairly good quality. Uh, the ESCs and flight control boards are uh, Emax's board. It's a 5 amp board and it's on their other Nano Hawk that came out with the hoops on it. Um, and I have not had any problems as I said with this board. I haven't burnt the ESCs yet and I've flown it probably about 40 times. Uh, the motors are a little bit bigger. These are the 1202 and a half motors by 11,000 kV. It's a nice balanced size motor for the size of these props and 1S in it works great. The NanoHawk X lifts 178 grams of rope plus it weighs 57 grams all up for a total of 235 grams of thrust which is a power to weight ratio of 4.1. I'm doing the first range test here and it didn't do very good because the antenna is almost horizontal. As you can see from this photo on the left, it's the original um, angle of the antenna and I put a zip tie on it to get it more vertical. The second uh, test I was able to get um, 100 or 290 meters of range which is quite good. Um, it breaks up occasionally going through the trees but the uh, VTX I have that set at the higher power ratio rate of 200 milliamp uh, where originally it comes at 25 milliamps, you have to push the button down on the VTX while you plug the battery in to uh, unlock it. Um, but overall, I think it's getting quite a good range. Uh, I did have some problems with the, or I did not have any problems with the um, receiver that comes with it. The white fence in the background is at 300 meters and I um, was a little bit short of that at, uh, I would estimate about 290 meters for an SBI receiver. It did not fail safe, so that was quite good. Um, the next thing I'm running into doing is the uh, playground track uh, speed test. I'm doing three consecutive laps here. The uh, first two laps were 10 seconds each and the third lap 
step was uh, nine seconds for an average of 9.7 seconds, which is, I think, my second fastest toothpick. I had my uh, Crux um, 25 or Crux 3 uh, had a nine-second average speed on this track. Then I go out and I start doing my uh, larger uh, field track, and my first three... Um, laps uh, or three consecutive laps uh, were 20 uh, or 18 seconds, 20 seconds, two seconds slower than another 18 second lap for an average of 18.7 seconds. This is about in the middle of what my speeds are for um, the larger tracks for toothpicks. Now for the pros and cons. Uh, for the uh, pros, it is very quiet. You can barely hear it. It has long flight times, normally uh, anywhere from four to eight seconds. Uh, most of the time I'll get around six seconds. And then it's uh, well-tuned. Uh, that shows up on the speed on my playground track. I was able to, uh, desp despite the little bit lighter or smaller power to weight ratio, I was able to get um, um, the second fastest time. Um, and then it's also uh, quite durable. I've uh, crashed it a number of times and nothing has broke and the ESC has held up good for over 40 flights. Uh, it has a small five amp ESC. And with toothpicks, uh, that'll th stress it sometimes, but this has worked out quite well. Uh, this is easy to fly for a beginner. And uh, I think they corrected the uh, vibration in there earlier whoop style model of this uh, by making it a little bit more robust. Uh, for cons, uh, you can't adjust the angle of the camera. Uh, it's set at one thing and that's what you get. And it's also a little bit expensive at $140 um, for a uh, 1S quad. Uh, the battery plug is a XT30. Uh, they do not have, they only give you one and you cannot pick these up currently at any of the stores. Um, the propellers are the same thing. They give you two extras and you cannot buy these. I have not found them yet available, although hopefully in the next month or two they'll be available. Um, and then you also have to make sure you unlock the VTX, which is set at 25 milliwatts. It should be, you should set it for 200 to get a better range for the video. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave those below. And this is John from Chicago, and thanks for watching.